hey besties welcome back to another wig review on my channel putting up with the pom-poms my name is shantae and as you can see i am sporting this gorgeous lace frontal unit from nia wigs they have sent me another unit to review on my channel and i am super excited to share how beautiful and gorgeous this wig is and guess what she is beginner friendly so we don't have to worry about putting any lace glue or anything down we will just be throwing the sucker on and slay the day as always lovely so continue watching as I show you how to uh, prep your hair for your lace frontal as well as how to install your lace frontal not using glue and my honest review on this entire unit hey besties welcome back to another wig review so on this video i will be reviewing another nia wigs the first wig that they sent me was a headband wig a gorgeous gorgeous headband wig that i still wear to this day absolutely loved that wig so much so they sent me another one that i will be reviewing for you guys and it is a lace frontal this time instead of a headband wig so i'm pretty pretty excited to try it out so i received it in the mail yesterday we're gonna go ahead and unpackage it and see what it is looking like but First, open it up, it comes with a wig cap and it comes in my color, which is the first time I've ever received the wig cap and it was actually my my complexion. So it also comes with a, uh, oh my goodness, a detangling brush. And these are like my favorite detangling brushes. So uh, this nice, uh, pretty chrome uh, detangling brush as well as an adjustable wig band. So you can try to wear this wig glueless, which is super awesome. And look, it comes with a gorgeous little flower. Packaging is amazing. And usually I don't get hung up on packaging, but that that is some pretty cute packaging. So um, they also have a nice little booklet in here on how to care for your wig properly as well as some gorgeous ladies who are wearing their wigs and it pretty much just gives you a rundown of what you need to do when first getting your wig. So of course first taking it out is 14 inches long and it's going to be really curly i can see already which i'm really glad i love the the curly wig they sent me last time this one looks like it has a more tighter curl so i'm excited to try it out take all our paper out all right and there we have the hair soft as always and yes it is a much tighter curl than the first week that I reviewed but that is perfectly fine with me I wanted an even tighter curl than the other one the other one has like a more loose curl and this one has a more tighter ringlet curl very soft definitely add some water and some products and those curls will definitely be popping so I can't wait to show that off you have these baby hairs right on the front they come pretty long so you can cut them down to your liking so you can adjust it the lace is already tinted so hopefully I don't have a whole lot of problems with having to retint the lace because that's one thing that I don't really care for lace front wigs is I have to do all this tinting and making sure that it fits me correctly so it looks like it'll fit the color won't have a hard time blending in on the inside as you can see you have all this lace all of this right here is free parting. So we have middle part, side parts that we can get creative with. It looks like it's about a four by four. And then you have at least four combs in here. You have one in the middle, uh, right on top of the crown of the head, one in the very back, and then two on the sides. You also have the adjustable straps in here. I'm gonna go ahead and attach those. Pretty much like putting a bra together. It comes with those hook and loop. Um, for you to put it in there and I'm gonna go ahead and do it because I'm gonna attempt to try to do this wig without using too much glue Because Lord we love a wig that we don't have to put a whole bunch of glue and time and effort into something We can throw on and be able to run out the door real quick So let's see if that's one of those these wigs or is this a wig that we're gonna have to take 45 minutes to, to do But y'all know me. I love Something that I can throw on snatch it on and go so it is very very secure just from tugging on it a little bit a nice elasticity it looks like it'll give us a hold that we're looking for so I'm excited I'm excited I really can't wait 
to get these curls popping. So of course, before we do any of that, this is a natural hair channel. So we are always going to make sure we talk about our natural hair. So right now I'm going through my healthy hair journey, my big chop journey, my on the road to you know down her back hair journey whatever journey you want to call it at this point but i am making sure that i care for my hair any protective style is still going to require attention to your natural hair just because you cover it up out of sight out of mind is not the concept we are going to be using for our natural hair ever in any protective style that we do so i recently did a wash and go so I have plenty of products still in here. I did the wash and go probably about three or four days ago. But as you can see, it's getting nice and frizzy again. It's starting to get that big volume and frizz. So I'm just going to add some water because putting a wig on top of this is just not going to work at all. I'm not gonna add anything else unless I feel like I need some oil, but my scalp isn't really dry and my hair doesn't look extremely dry. It looks like it just needs a little bit of water and we're just gonna brush it back to try to smooth it out as much as possible. And then I have some got to be. I'm just going to use that for my edges to lay those down nice and smooth. And I'm going in with the glue rather than the spray. have is on we're gonna go ahead and uh, put this baby on and try her out see what the lace is looking like see if we need to do any further tinting I don't think so but I'm holding my hold my breath I hope not pretty snug. I wasn't expecting it to be that snug. Yeah, that is, that is pretty snug. Thought I was going to have to use it, like, even around the edges. Alright, so this is what she's looking like right now. I haven't even styled her yet, and I already know I'm going to be in love. I already can see it. I see that she's going to be in love. I am definitely going to cut down these are baby hairs, of course, but we'll swoop swoop that in a minute. I'm going to push her back so I can kind of see my hairline a little bit more. And she is, she is really snug. I don't think we'll have to use glue on her. Now, when cutting my lace, I go in with cloth scissors. So, fabric scissors, cloth scissors. I'm not sure the actual correct term for them. But you can purchase them out of Walmart. They are a little bit more pricier than your regular scissors, but... They are so precise and then they come with this nice beveled edge for you or you know where the scissors aren't straight so it kind of angles for you so you can get nice and close to whatever you're cutting so I don't feel like I'm like digging in my scalp trying to get the, the, the lace. So these are like perfect and it doesn't come out choppy as you're uh, cutting the lace. Definitely recommend using these versus those eyebrow pencils or the eyebrow um, razors get you some fabric scissors so much more easier and the risk of cutting yourself is so much lower than using the eyebrow razors so that is one half and i didn't even glue it down yet and it looks so good like i don't know if it looks a whole lot different than what i'm seeing in my mirror but like face to face in my mirror once I leave my edges, like, oh my gosh. So, um, let's go ahead and talk about styling. So, originally styling it, it comes with an adjustable, ba adjustable band um, for you to be able to secure the hair without having to uh, glue it down, which was right up my alley. I definitely prefer a wig that I don't have to do a whole bunch of gluing and pulling out my blow dryer and dots and you know, all that good stuff. I prefer wigs where I don't have to do that. This didn't require any glue. I didn't even glue down my edges. All I did was just use a little bit of got to bleed for the, um, 
the hair's edges doing my little swoops prefer methods that are going to be beginner friendly anybody can do and it's not going to take a whole lot of skill nor is it going to take a whole lot of time this wig for me does not take a whole lot of time other than laying my edges which i absolutely suck at laying edges but i've made that very clear on my channel i do not know how to lay edges i really wish i could do all the nice little swoops and the swirls and all that they'd be looking so good on instagram but honey i cannot and my kids have baby hairs like galore and i just I, I do my little 90s swoop and call it a freaking day. That's, that is about all you're going to get out of me when it comes to styling edges. So let's talk about the details of this wig. So she is 14 inches long. Um, she comes in, comes in the color natural black. Now on their website, when you go to neowigs.com, which I will leave that website down below in the description bar for you guys to shop their website and all of their wigs. Um, I really am in love with their headband wig. But for this lace frontal, um, she retails, I around uh, 460 dollars i want to say but she has her on sale for about 230 and they usually have some kind of promotionals going on um as of right now since i am working with them i have a promotional code for you guys to receive a discount if you purchase the wig through nia wigs and i'll leave the discount code down below for you guys as well all you have to do is copy and paste it when you order your wig Now, you don't see the lay straight away unless I, of course, like hold the hair down and you can view it. And you can see those knots from where the hair is hand tied to the lace. It doesn't bother me at all because it's not like you can see it unless you're doing a full on inspection of the wig. And plus we're in the middle of a pandemic anyway, honey. So everyone should be six feet apart anyway. If anybody can see the knots on your lace, they are way too freaking close and you need to tell them to back the hell up. Underneath is still a little wet. Hey friends, let's go ahead and talk about this. So, um, I, I wanted to wait for her to kind of like air dry a little bit more because I didn't really want to disturb her curls too much by diffusing it. It probably took me about 15-20 minutes to let it air dry. I definitely like the hair dry than um, wet and as you saw in the previous frame she was wet from where I added the product in the water. Now her curls look absolutely gorgeous when wet and once I applied the curls to it hair is super super soft very minimum shedding the most shedding that i probably got was probably from when i cut around the lace so i do cut off a big chunk around the ear just so that the lace can kind of fit over it and as you can see i did not glue down my edges but that's because i plan on you know wearing it in this uh, uh orientation um at first when i did the middle park i did not like it and i think it was because the hair was still wet I realize now that it has dried and it's kind of taken its shape. Well, I am going to show the middle part again now that it is like semi dry. It's not extremely wet anymore. Um, and now that we have a little bit more volume going on, so we can kind of see the different ways to style. All right, so this is her middle part. And I definitely am going to say I prefer the side part a lot more, but it does look a lot better than what it did when I tried to do it when it was still wet. It just did not look right. Now, if I probably would have left it there and allowed the hair to dry in that middle part, I definitely probably would have more of that shape, but since it dried kind of on the side part, it kind of now is fitted for that side part, but it doesn't look bad at all. You definitely can wear it multiple ways. See how deep we can go until we don't hit lace. Okay, so. This is probably the deepest we can go. Now, as you can see, there's the lace. I 
definitely like the deep part. I don't want to touch her too much because I feel like the more I touch her and play with her, the frizzier she's going to get. So I probably would have to use a heavier cream to kind of get her curls to be more defined. But I prefer volumes. It is definitely a beginner friendly wig where you do not have to wear the, the glue or, or the lace glue in order to style this wig. So very beginner friendly, which is right up my alley for me. I love items that are going to be great for all users. It doesn't matter what the skill level is. The adjustable band is probably my favorite part of this entire unit. It's very secure. I don't feel like my wig is going anywhere whatsoever. The so guys, that is pretty much the end of this review. My honest review and opinion on this gorgeous 14 inch lace frontal by Nia Wigs. Um, and if you do order it, please do not forget to uh, tag us on Instagram, tag Nia Wigs uh, uh, on Instagram or Facebook. And of course you guys know that I am on Instagram only. So I will leave my link for my Instagram page down below too. I would love to see uh, if you do purchase this wig, how much you love it how good it is going to look on you thank you guys for joining us on another tutorial don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button if you are really in love with this wig and let me know which version do you like do you prefer the wet curls or do you prefer the big volume of hair now of course y'all already know i love my volume so it's like the longer i'm sitting here the bigger the hair is getting the more i'm falling in love with it so let me know in the comments below what you think thank you guys for joining us please be blessed and be safe